morning guys. It is almost 7 a.m. on Wednesday, the 14th, and I just took Chunk Potty and got some bananas, and we're about to head to my dad's house so he can run around in the backyard. And then we were going to be heading out, and well, I'm a chiropractor at seven, but after that, we're gonna be heading out, and I'm excited, but not excited for the four hour drive. Good morning again. It's 6.32, we're now at my dad's house trying to make Chunk go potty, but he's just sniffing. Um, I just have to wait around until my chiropractor appointment at seven, Go to that, probably take like a half hour, and then come back here, get chunk, and make sure everything's situated. And we'll probably head out about like 8, 8.30, maybe, something like that. So, yeah. Alrighty, so it is 9.10, a little later than I planned on leaving, but it's fine. Like, I just have to be there by 1, and I'll still get there by like 12.40, as long as we don't hit traffic. Chunk's obviously right there. He has his window down until we get on the interstate, and we have to roll it up. I have green rubber bands in and it's really weird because normally I don't. Um, Kaylee just left, everything's packed up. I'm glad we came back here after my chiropractor appointment though because I had forgotten a few things. So I think we have everything now and let's drive for four hours. and I figured I'd give you a little update. Um, we have about two hours left of the drive and we are near Springfield, so we're about halfway. Chunk's passed out, he has been like this whole time, which is great. Um, it's been really boring and I've just been snacking on some banana chips and hanging out. Two hours left. It is now about 12.20 and we are about 30 minutes out and I am exhausted. So is this one. Well, I guess he's not exhausted because he's sleeping. So he's getting his energy up when I'm dying. Um, I just want to be there already, but then again, I don't because I know when we get there, I have to carry all that in by myself because everyone's busy. But we'll figure it out. I'm going to get Chunk out first and let him run for a little bit when we get there and then go find my RA so I can check into my room. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it to be over. I'm ready for it to be tonight, just chilling, watching a movie or something, and relax time, because I'm not looking forward to the next few hours. We are basically here, finally. It's uh, 12.35. But we are so close. My back is killing me. Chunk was just now, but he laid down again, so that's good. We are almost there. I am so ready for this drive to be over. It's I need to pee really bad. I know he has to pee. He's excited to get out. I just need to grab like my purse out from under here and head in, make sure my ID works so we can get in. And then once I get in, make sure that I'm all checked in before I start figuring out where to park and carrying stuff inside. Officially made it to our new room. We checked in and everything. 
Uh, I didn't even attempt to vlog because I had him and I had my purse and I had my ID and I had to sign stuff. Um, but I'm here. I found my room. I also really had to pee so I already used the bathroom. And... Uh, but Chunka likes this window because it's ground level. But I'll just give you a quick little, this is our room. And then we have a walk-in closet, which is sweet. And then, so this is the main space. That's the front door. And then you walk in, that's gonna be my roommate's room, our room, bathroom. And there's a train in the background. So I've taken in about four loads, at least. Shane helped with one, but then he had to go do to go to work, go to his research. Chunks inside. I have one thirty. I'm sweating, but I'm making progress. Most of my stuff is in here. Chunk is happy. I probably have at least four, if not five or six, more loads of stuff to bring in. And I'm just putting everything out to the quad for now. That way I can rearrange my room and figure that out before I put all the clothes in here. My hair's a hot mess. I'm sweating chunks finally drinking some water. So I guess I'll check in with you guys after I get the rest of my stuff in. I think we have everything moved in. That's my window right there. Chunks in there. I'm about to bring my car back to the parking lot because I just have it parked on the street right now, which you're not supposed to do. I should go get my parking pass, but I don't have my energy for that. So I'm just gonna go put this in the lot and go set up my room. This is the building I'm living in, by the way. It's not for class in the dorm called Bowers. Where's the Chunka? Gonna be on a bed, you ready? Chunka! So I think I'm gonna set up my beds like this. This one treat it like a couch, that one being my actual bed. But I haven't decided yet, because I have all this to figure out where to put it. And I put one dresser in my closet, and I think I like that, and I put that thing in there, but I don't know. We'll figure it out, right? We'll figure it so out. So we're officially here. Everything's all good. My room's getting situated slowly but surely. Um, and probably still very echoey because it's still pretty empty. Chunks chilling, and my little Issa is gonna come over soon and get her present and things like that. Um, but I think I'm gonna end this video here. We're pretty much moved in. I just have to decorate now. And once that's all done, I will do an actual room tour. But I'm just gonna quickly show you what I've accomplished so far, and that's gonna be the end of this video. This is our front door that you walk in at. I'm just gonna shove myself in this corner. This is still all of my stuff, which this was a lot fuller, so I'm making progress. Um, underneath this, we have a full-size couch, and there's a coffee table right there, and then we have a little chair. Um, obviously, I still have a lot of work to do. This is gonna be my roommate's room, or my quad mate. And this is our shared bathroom, which I have shoved a few things in here. There's me, love the big mirror. And then we have our shower and toilet area. And then my room is right here. This is what I have so far. Um, I don't know where to stand. So I don't know what to do with these yet. I think I might actually stack like this dresser on top of that, but I'm not sure. Um, but this is kind of like my little desk area. Both of these are desks, so I figured I could kind of, if I just have one chair, I could kind of move back and forth, so I don't know what I want to do with this thing. Um, and then this is the bed I think I'm gonna actually sleep on, that chunk sleeping on. And I just stacked these two wooden things that were on top of the desks over here. And that white thing's a light, so that's nice. Over here I stacked them as well, and there's the light. This is the exact same thing as this, I just made another one because I had four. Um, and then I have a huge window here that I had to shut, but it's amazing. And this bed I think I'm going to use more like a couch, and also like if my projector I have up here projecting onto this wall. So if I'm having a movie night, I'll be in that bed watching it. Um, and then my closet, I just have chunks food and water here, I don't know if that'll stay. And my closet light is not gonna work great. There we go, there we go. So I put one of the big dressers in here and I still have plenty of room to like walk in and move around and stuff. 
But it just gave me more floor space out here for Chunka. And there are all sorts of shelves. And then I put my shoe shelf in here. I don't know if that's going to stay or not. But yeah, that's what we have so far. Thanks for watching. And look out for my room tour because that will be coming soon. Bye, sleepy boy.